I'm back at it. Don't ask why. Well, ask why. Mom, dad, retired, mid-70s, moved to Florida. My brother's there also, and um, he has an FS-18. A little bit small of a boat. I mean, it does a good job for what it's supposed to, but um, somewhat small, especially taking my handicapped dad out fishing. So they're loaded up in there. And so as you can see over my shoulder here, it's hard looking at the video viewfinder and trying to line this up, but that is the makings of another boat. Yes, I'm going to try to video blog this, which is a lot of work. So I'm doing this boat because it's supposed to be very fast and a pretty decent design. So we're going to find out. I hope to do it in three weeks. Yes, three weeks. So uh, I'm going to blog it, video blog it, like I do all my others. And my poor wife will have to edit it. And I'll give her hell for not having it done on time. And that's where we're at. So let's see how this goes. ACX plywood. Crappy ass framing. I could not get... I could not get the fur 4x4 four four, so I had to buy treated um, which this one I picked out because all the all the uh, growth rings are pretty straight down it so I figured it have less of a chance of warping when it got dry there's screws PL premium all that crappage in the back of my truck you have two sizes half inch for the sides three quarters for the bottom and uh, this boat is going to be the lumberyard skiff from Old Wharf Dory Company. And um, I'm going to stretch it. I'm going to take it from 16 to 18 and see what happens. Because you know me, I never leave anything the way it's supposed to be. Left my saw horses on the job. So what do you do? You make do. Which is what I'm doing. And that's going to sound like crap on video. But take my framing pieces, clamp them down to my trailer, stick them over the side. Whoa! Saw horses. Sort of. Then I got a piece of 2x6 under there. Marked out dimensions of the first panel. Chalked it. Oh, you guys know I can't tell you any dimensions because that would not be fair to the designer. So I'm not doing that, but there it is. That's the line struck. First piece, we're going to run through it with the old worm drive saw. And we'll be on our way. Got the panels laid out in the shop. I uh, have to look close, but I have the line drawn on it already. The transom line. Try not to make you seasick. My front line for this uh, bow. I have that drawn on already. This has been an hour. One hour. Yes, one hour. And I have my transom cut out. Ripped, cut out. I'm going to lay it on top of the other piece. Calls for two pieces for the transom. I'm going to lay it out. Clamp it. Cut it off. Glue it. Screw it. And keep moving. Take a pencil and scribe a line straight down it. This is a lot easier with a GoPro because it's a wider angle lens, but it's charging. So I'll come down to the other end, scribe right down it. I'm flush here. I'm a little proud right there. That's what I get for ripping it down with a circular saw, but I'll fare all that out. So now I'm going to unclamp it. And move that piece off and rip it. Anybody that's watched my videos already knows I like PL Premium. I'm going to glue these transoms to get this transom together. So I got it all squirted out. Now you see if you do it that way, you're going to have a lot of air pockets. So I went to the shed to my tile box and I got out a notched trowel. Now I was hoping I'd have a throwaway. 
instead of this nice beautiful brand new one but I don't so I'm going to spread it with this notch trowel and then I'll chime back in and we'll see what it looks like squeezed on a whole big tube big construction tube you can see it there um, use the flat side of the blade to level it all out and then I use the uh, notch side to um, raise the edges up and I run all my lines in uh, in one direction in theory if there's any air caught in there it has a way to get out application who knows but that's the theory so I'm gonna put them together as a sandwich and screw them together right now <laughs> 